So there's right. a couple of things that I want to say. Again, I know nothing about this deal, but I've sure. been in the game long enough. So what this tells me mm-hmm. is they bought the deal with hard money. Yeah, for they sure. They probably bought yep. it with short-term hard money. Agreed. Right? Yep. So now they're to the point where like, damn, it is more important to get the hard money paid back yep. so that they could re- probably refi the fourplex and just keep the party going. Mm-hmm. Uh, but again, motivated sellers. So again, I keep telling you folks, I don't think there's going to be a national housing crash. I don't think the national picture is going to crash. I think the median home price actually might surprise to the upside. See a live stream I did this morning. But that means you can still do great deals. This seller is in a financial bind. Use it to your advantage. I guarantee you, if you saw this quickly and then you wrote them up a cash off, you said 333? What was it listed? Yeah, 333,548. So you know that number has some relevance to them. Yeah, something. And then they eight, all that, threes. That's interesting. Yeah. So again, I don't know anything about the market, but damn, if I was out there and I thought there was pain, I might write it up at two ninety nine. Just to see. yes, yes. That's exactly what I thought this morning when I saw it. I called my broker and I said, "Yeah, do I? I? Do I? I? Yeah. This is hard to walk away from. This house has a beautiful in ground pool that they spent eighty thousand dollars on because I know the installer and I know what they charge for their poles by the square foot and all that mm-hmm. stuff." All I can tell you is at 333, this thing is an absolute steal. But the crazy thing is, do the math, 575, even if they had 25,000 bucks into costs, yeah. right? 600, they're still only basically paying 300,000 bucks for a fourplex in my town, which is worth 500,000 by itself, yeah. with it even being a smaller one. Yeah. So this deal for them though, Mike, is basically all profit. This is probably wiping out their lender on the other deal. Yeah, probably. That's, that's why they got to get out. And, and again, this is what I want my students to be looking for, right? I, again, if I was one of my students or certainly if it, it was, if this was me in 2005, mm-hmm. I would write the offer at 299 all day long. Uh, if they said, yes, we close. If they counter, we might go up, but I might stick to my guns at 299 because I know they're in trouble, right? Yeah. Or I suspect they're in trouble. I don't or know. Or at least want, they want a fast deal. Yeah. They want they a fast want to pay deal. Back. Yeah. That yeah. would be my, that's motivated seller to me is like, blood in the streets. Yes. And I would go for it at 290. This is what's coming folks. There are sellers that will be in a bad spot that will be afraid. Who cares what the seller motivation is? If they want out, your job is to get a great deal for you. Yes. Write the offer. Only again, I keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it again. We are only writing great offers. If you're one of my students or followers, no more good offers, only great offers. The market is coming to us. Use it to your advantage. The winter is here. Yes. Only do great deals. Do this deal at two ninety nine, or don't do it. Wait for the next one. They are coming. What do you think? Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, I think the one thing that I look at with this, I mean, in my area, single family homes are really difficult to do, uh, and they're really difficult to do because of the taxes. So I'm just looking at the, trying to look at the tax. So here's the issue. The taxes on that house, would you like to take a wild stab at it? It's a 3 2, 1700 square feet. Well, see, I think the taxes are going to be reported wrong because it probably, it probably would be a year before it resets because right now the taxes are probably reported at the, as a five unit. Probably. But they, they just did a lot split. So there should be two APNs going forward. I don't know if that's... Should so it, it should probably a, go down. It's probably, God, I don't know what it is, probably like 20 grand right now, 18 grand. It's Yeah, it's, it's just under 12. Oh, wow. Just yes. under 12,000 bucks. Yeah, that so if hurt. you think about that 12,000 bucks carrying that, because if that, if they found a way to stick a lot of that number with the house. Oh, they like, could. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. depending on how you subdivide, you could stick a bunch of the land. You could stick a bunch of the accoutrement yeah. over to the yeah. house. Yeah. If they did that and you end up with a $10,000 property tax bill or almost a thousand bucks a month. That hurts. Well, then at that point, you're in, so you're what, you're 1500 bucks or so on a $300,000 mortgage thereabouts. If you're doing three and a three and a half percent down or yeah, something. Dude, like taxes that. are nuts in your area. Dude, they're insane. Yeah. I paid, I paid over $200,000 in city taxes last year. No okay. income tax, but over $200,000 in city taxes. And here's what I get for that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't, get, I don't get trash pickup. I don't, we don't have any kids in the schools, us or our tenants, wow. because we're all like, you know, we're not that demographic. Mm. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. But you look at that number. So again, students, you got to do your work, but you look at that deal and you find an opportunity like that motivated seller. 
holy cow, I, my heart skipped a beat when I saw that. And I was like, is there a deal here? And then I called my broker and he already knew about the deal. Mm, of course he he was, he, yeah. God bless him. I was like, Jay, well done. Nice job. Yeah. yeah. 